Okay. Yeah, so far so good. We can click OK. Now we go to the next section, which is rock fluid. Okay, we click this one. If you want to check, we can, if you want to select rock fluid options, most of the time we, we, we don't start with that. So if we double click here, okay. All right, so this is to set the rock types. Here we have, if we have rock types already existing, we will have the drop down menu here, listing all the rock types, but we will create a new one. So we click this one, create new rock type. Okay, if you select include capillary pressure, you will need to provide this PCOW, the capillary pressure, but yeah, I will deselect this to make it simple, like this one. So I just need to provide with simple table, the SW, water saturation, and then the water relative permeability, and also oil water relative permeability. Okay. All right. So now you can see we have one rock type. Okay, I will input my data so you can follow me. This is my relative permeability table. Okay. Sorry, there is an error. Unfortunately, yeah, I will set my data first, okay. Okay, so this is the completed relative permeability table with my data. If you want, you can also click tools, generate tables using correlations. If you are familiar with relative permeability concept, okay, suggestion. You can open the drop down menu. Exponents below one give convex curve indicating channeling. Exponents of one fractures. Exponents of three means well sorted consolidated sandstone. Exponent 3.5, it means poorly sorted and consolidated sandstone. Exponent four, cemented sandstone or oolitic limestone fugular, and others. Yeah, and then you can provide important values here to generate the relative permeability curve. Okay, and this is the picture. So KROCW, KROOW, this is the capillary pressure for oil water system. Okay. Yeah, you can check this one. Okay, so close apply, click OK. So this is our relative permeability plot. Yeah, you can see it's it's line. It's not quite real, but yeah, maybe somewhere out there, there is a reservoir with these properties, this condition, it's OK. We can use it. This one relative permeability and for water saturation. The red line is KRW versus water saturation, relative permeability of water versus water saturation. And then KROW versus water saturation. Okay, KROW means relative permeability of oil in oil water system. Okay, but you see the rock fluid still not okay. We still need to provide another set of data. So click drop down menu, you can also, also check that. So we have incompleteness in relative permeability tables. So we go back, double click. Why? Because we need to provide with this one, liquid gas table. 
Okay, liquid gas table. Okay. Uncheck. Yeah, again, I will need to provide the data for this. Okay, so let me check it for a while. Okay, I've copied my data from my spreadsheet. So I will try to right click and paste. Okay, so this is my liquid gas table. The relative permeability for liquid saturation, liquid and gas phase, right? So click apply. Click OK. All right. So again, this is for PVT. This is for KR, relative permeability and water saturation. This is for relative permeability and liquid saturation. For three-phase KRO, unable to plot the ternary plot because the KROCW from the water oil table is not equal to KROCW, the gas liquid table. KROCW, so let's check it out. KROCW, water oil table. So if you want to create Okay, if you want to validate, let's check the message. The last KROG value in the SLT table must be equal the first value in the SWT table, saturation liquid table and saturation water table, or the KROW at Conat water saturation. The last KROG in the Okay, so let's check. The last KROG. The last KROG. Okay. So let's check again. Right click, validate. Should be the should the, the first must equal the first value in the water saturation table. which is, okay, let's, let's check this one. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's just a simple problem. Okay, so you can see the rock fluid already ticked. So we complete reservoir section, component section and rock fluid section. And then, yeah, we will define the initial conditions. We go to the next section.